Hello, you over 3,000 amazing people and the 83% who have yet to subscribe. Today, I'm painting my brush, we're going to be talking about the Amazon deal, the absolute hyperbolic BS that are coming out from content creators, and basically a little bit of realism when we're going to be talking about what's actually happening. <laughs> Yes, so Games Workshop have put out a their annual real financial report. In all in all, it's very good news. They're really liking um, 40k. They're selling well. Age of Sigma has just been launched a new edition and has done really well. Horus Heresy has got lots of plans for moving to fully plastic, which is really good news. And the old world has performed way better than they initially expected. And now they have amazingly grand plans, which means in probable financial shareholder board meeting corporate speak, meaning is we're probably definitely 100% getting a Kislev range and a cafe range for the old world at some point in the future. All in all, everything is rosy at Games Workshop, financially and everything else. The shareholders and the CEO are pretty happy. Big Kev has done a big good job. But you would imagine from that report there is drama. And of course there is drama because, as always, we are getting more and more clickbaity bullcrap of reading far too much into things as what's going on with the Amazon Games Workshop deal with Henry Cavill. So, we are getting posts like these from Collider and from Lexiconium. And these are just two of many that I've seen over the past couple of days. Um, basically implying that everything is, is going wrong and is potentially going bad, which is not actually the case. Um, and if we actually look at the fiscal report and we read it, we can actually read what is going to be happening and what is probably happening right now. Um, bear in mind that the time period where they put this report out and the actual deadline of this is quite a long time. Um, so let's have a little look, shall we? So what we're talking about is the fiscal report and mainly this right here, the entertainment part. This little, this little paragraph right here is what is causing all of the drama. So Games Workshop and Amazon are working together for a period of 12 months ending in December 2024 to agree creative guidelines for the films and television series to be developed by Amazon. The agreement will only proceed if the creative guidelines are mutually agreed between the Games Workshop and Amazon. We will update you accordingly. Now I can turn around and guarantee that this is going full steam ahead and they are doing a lot of work, i.e. Games Workshop are doing a lot of work on the IP side right now. I know this for a fact because a friend, an associate of mine, is one of the IP guys for Games Workshop and he is very, 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 very busy. But in all in terms, what does this mean? Well, it means that there are basically sorting out all of the figglery, all of the fine tuning and everything else. But there is also more information to be garnered from this little statement. Originally, we were told that this was going to be some form of project with Amazon Games Workshop and Henry Cavill leading as executive producer and Andy Smiley also on board with Henry as the other executive producer. But there is something else. This mentions films as in plural and television series as in more than one so this is a scope they've obviously got to the point where they want to do more things what's actually happening here well they're sorting stuff out they're getting the t's dotted and the i's dotted and all of that good stuff now if you watch valrak's video you would imagine that valrak has basically turned around and said that if we don't hear anything by december that this is all over, that this is dead, that this won't be happening. That is complete bollocks. That's that's not going to happen. We're not going to hit the 31st of December and go, oh, 
It's, we haven't had an announcement. The Amazon deal's dead. But you can guarantee content creators like him and many, many, many more will come out of the woodwork and make stupid, hyperbolic videos about this when they have no idea what is going on in regards to the talks between the two companies at all. Let's be, let's be completely realistic on here. Amazon know that Games Workshop and Warhammer 40k is an incredibly lucrative IP to bring to the big screen. They know this. Why do they know this? Because the IP and Warhammer are growing at an incredible rate. Games Workshop have just reported in this annual report that they are on 17% increased profit from last year. That is amazing. Yet again, Games Workshop are reporting mass sales and they know that the Warhammer hobby as a whole is growing. Warhammer Plus has gone up like 40,000 subscribers since the last annual report, which is amazing considering of how pretty crap that platform is. Warhammer makes money. Amazon know this and would like to make money. But here's the big caveat of all of this. Warhammer 40k has not been licensed by anybody else in regards to TV and film. So why would Amazon not want to be the first person to do that? They know it's going to make them money. They know if they do it right, the nerds are going to be coming out in force. Now, Games Workshop aren't as whimsical and, and, and easy to be changed and flip the source material like the Tolkien estate is and has been with the Rings of Power. So that's really not going to help. And you've also got to remember that Games Workshop are also putting their own people like Adam Smiley in ex senior positions of executive producers on these projects, ultimately to make sure that these things follow and the law changes. Now we've had these massive amounts of posts made by these creators and these weird ass journeys like Bell of Lost Souls and and Lexicanium coming out with things like the Amazon deal is dead. Henry Cavill has walked away from the deal because we've got female cause that's absolute balls. Henry Cavill hasn't made any form of statement like this. Games Workshop haven't said the deal is dead. Amazon haven't said, said the deal is dead. And both companies know how much stupid amounts of money they're about to make once they do this. They're not going to turn around and go, oh, well, cause you're not going to have females. That bollocks bollocks those creative guidelines are not like that you could guarantee the biggest sticking point and the biggest talking point of this whole thing is going to be which platform this is going to be shown on is it going to be shown on amazon prime or is it going to be shown on warhammer plus is it going to be exclusive to prime or is games workshop also going to be able to show it on warhammer plus i can guarantee that that is the top of the list of the talking point if you actually read the fiscal report, it also talks about merchandise, which means that we'll probably get really cool merchandise things from, oh, amazing. What's that? Weta Workshops are already doing it. Who have Weta Workshops worked with in the past? That's right. Amazon and Rings of Power and Lord of the Rings. It already, we already have companies with links to Amazon and other big studios of film and TV making merchandise for Warhammer because Warhammer makes money. Amazon want to make money. Games Workshop definitely love making money. And Henry Cavill are not walking away from this project unless it's absolutely dead in the water because this is probably the top of his career goals. Nobody at any point has said anything about walking away or this deal being dead. So the reality is, and this is this is me coming in with my big boy head on with reality rather than listening to hyperbolic content creators who are literally just farming drama at this stage. We will not hear anything at the end of the year. Guaranteed. Come December the 31st, we will hear nothing about the Amazon Games Workshop film and TV show deal. Nothing. What will more than likely happen is come Adepticon in March or Gen Con or whichever the big convention is in March, we may get an announcement. You will probably find that Cavill is there and everything else. Just look at what Marvel have done at the pre at last week's Comic Con with announcing 
Robert Downey Jr. coming back as Doctor Doom in the new Marvel movie and the restructuring of that movie and how they're going to be moving forward now with Phase 5. It was announced. We didn't see a trailer. We didn't see anything like that. We basically had Robert Downey Jr. come out on stage, take his mask off, and announced to the world he was coming back to the MCU. That was it. And then we got given two logos for two future films made by the Russo brothers. You can guarantee that you will see something like this at either a Comic Con, a Gen Con, a Dapticon, or something along those lines long before we see anything in an official statement on Warpcom in December this year. It's not going to happen, people. And if anyone says that that's how it is, then basically tell them they're a dick because that's what they are. Games Workshop and Amazon will fine-tune this to the absolute 10th degree. Both companies have a lot of riding on this. There's a lot of money being spent by both companies to make sure that this happens. So they are going to want to make sure that everything is done correctly so nothing gets lost in the woods. So don't sweat it. The only time that we should really worry is when Henry Cavill starts talking about that this is dead. And that is it. And at that point, if anybody starts talking about the deal is dead, then you know that all NDAs are over and that the deal is actually dead. And then people are able to then talk about it. Until that point, it's not dead. This creative guidelines is them laying out the framework of how they're going to do it. You'll also be surprised that probably during this period is how they're also going to be working out of what they're going to be working on, what TV show they're going to be making, what film they're wanting to do also if this is successful amazon have the rights to do this for, for fantasy warhammer fantasy is that going to be the old world is it going to be the mortal realms who knows but they have the ability and the licensing agreement to step into that if they so wish amazing absolutely amazing this is not something that is going to be slow this is sorry not something that is going to be quick and talked about in a quick manner so people like valrak can stick it up his ass because he constantly comes out with these hyperbolic statements because it's clicks. And there's a lot of other content creators doing the exact same. Reality is very, very simple that this is a period of negotiation and chicken it in and you can guarantee, guarantee that this will be squared away and we will get some form of announcement at one event next year with Henry Cavill walking out on stage Going, this is what we're doing, nerdies. Let's get it on. 100% is what's probably going to happen. 100%. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm sure I'm not the only nerd in the fandom community right now who's sick of seeing things like this, like Collider. Who the hell is Collider? Popping up on your social media feed pictures of Henry Cavill slapped all over it going, oh, the deal is dead. Henry Cavill has walked away because of female custodies. Blah, 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 blah. The deal is dead because Amazon and Games Workshop can't decide what they're going to do. Shut up. You have no idea what you're talking about. You're literally taking a sentence in a, in a, in a financial report and walking with it. I will be more worried if we do the financial report next year and there is absolutely zero mention of the Amazon deal, then you can 100% know that I is dead in the water. Right now, Games Workshop been telling the shareholders, hey, this is happening, and we're at this stage in the game. And those shareholders are rubbing their hands because they know how many new yachts they're about to be able to buy. But that's the video, everybody. Just thought I'd sprinkle a little bit of reality on this rather than the hyperbolic BS that we're slowly seeing online right now. Chin-ups, this is probably going to happen. Expect an amazing announcement at some point next year. Come out with a lot of fanfare and pizzazz, which is exactly what this will roll out of. And we will see it. It's going to happen. We will see some form of Warhammer 40k show or film on Amazon Prime or Warhammer Plus at some stage in the very, very near future. And that's the video. If you like what I do, please like and subscribe and all of that jazz. And you can check out my members area and you can tell Valrak to kiss me.